Hey guys, I'm Jameson with Rogue Engineer and today we're going to show you how we made this mobile utility wall. Now we made this for our church to house all of the music equipment. And the cool thing about this is we sided it so that it would look nice on the back so that once we store all of this music equipment in there, we're not looking at this, we're actually looking at this. Okay, so now we're gonna start with step one, which is just simply assembling those three platforms that we need for the base, the shelf, and the top. So we've got about 24 and a half inches across the width or the depth of our shelf and our base will be. Um, so we subtract three inches from that for both of the two by fours in the front and the back, we're gonna end up with 21 and a half inches. So that's what we'll cut all of the studs from, that will go from front to back. And we'll cut those all to 21 and a half inches. All right, so what I like to do is I uh, take the studs and um, lay this out. So we said 21 and a half inches. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that out on the line. And then I'm gonna set my stop um, so that I can make all of these repetitive cuts. All right, so I've got eight foot long studs and coincidentally, that is exactly how long we need this cart to be. So I don't need to cut these studs down to size. I'm gonna go ahead and mark um, where these, uh, the other 16 boards that I cut are going to connect from the front to the back. And um, that will be every two feet. So I'm gonna make a mark at two feet, four feet and six feet. And then the ones on the ends will be flush with each end. So when cutting the actual 21 and a half inch pieces that are gonna go from front to back, I actually cut up, um, how many, I cut up three studs uh, fully. So four pieces out of three studs, and then I'm gonna take three more studs, and I'm just gonna cut the first 21 and a half inches off. Because what I'm gonna do is these studs are actually gonna be used for the, um, the vertical pieces that are gonna tie this all together at a later step. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut down the, the vertical studs. Um, the height of our mobile storage center is gonna be six feet plus the height of the casters. Um, and then on the, on the floor of the cart, we're, we want to store these, um, these totes. And these are from Home Depot. These are like some of my favorite totes. Um, they're just really durable and they stack really nicely. Uh, but we're gonna need 13 inches from the floor to the bottom of the first shelf that everything else is gonna go on. So I'm gonna make sure to add in the three quarters of an inch for my MDF floor. So we're gonna space the, um, the middle shelf 13 and three quarters of an inch off of the bottom shelf. So I know that the top is gonna to go all the way up at the top of these studs and the bottom is gonna go all the way at the bottom. But we gotta locate this shelf here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mark three and a half for my bottom floor and then I'm gonna come up another three quarters of an inch from that, which is four and one quarter, and mark that is where my floor is gonna be. So then I know I need 13 inches for the, um, of clearance to the bottom shelf. So that is where my bottom shelf, the bottom of my bottom shelf is gonna go. I'll take a speed square, strike this line across all three of these studs, and then we're gonna to start to assemble this thing.
All right, I've got my MDF shelves in place and now I'm just gonna go ahead and secure them with just a few 18 gauge brad nails. So when we were tasked with building something like this, we had one purpose in mind, and that was housing the musical equipment in our church. However, throughout the construction of this thing, I don't know what to call it now because there's so many different uses for it. You could raise this up to workbench level, and this could make a nice mobile workbench. Um, this could be locker storage. It could be a wardrobe. It could be a number of different things. However, since it is going in a church, we've got to dress it up and make it look nice. Um, it's going to be visible, so we've got to, we're going to wrap it with um, just some one by sixes, which is kind of the style that our church is going with. Um, so just some untreated one by sixes are going to wrap around the outsides. And then I was lucky enough to reach out to Wall Control, and they donated some of the metal pegboard units that we're going to use for cord management and stuff like that. So we're going to mount some more two by fours in order to mount those um, that Wall Control units to. Um, on the sides as well as a couple across the back. So like I said, we we're gonna dress this thing up with one by sixes. The problem was, was that the one by sixes are eight foot long, um, so they didn't quite cover the whole back of it. So we're gonna cap the corners. Uh, we took a, a one by six and ripped it in half. And then, I, um, and then I set it flush to this surface over here. And now I'm gonna come back with another one by six and cap that corner just like that. <laughs> 